Hi everybody, it's Kevin Kane again, healthcare organizer at Citizen Action of Wisconsin. Uh, I want to make sure that I do not forget a video uh, on the most important way to talk about healthcare reform moving forward. One of the most important benefits for people across the country, no matter what income group they come from, no matter what uh, cultural or racial background they come from, is this idea of pre-existing condition discrimination. This idea that you have been sick, you will be sick, you're predisposed to being sick, and because of which you get charged more, or even denied health insurance. Now it's kind of a, a nonsense bureaucratic word, uh, pre-existing conditions. And we've heard it so many times, we know what this means. So we have to keep talking about it between now and November. A huge, huge majority of the population thinks that this kind of discrimination, this ability for insurance companies to charge you more, to deny you, to drop you when you already have coverage, or to say we're going to cover everything but your condition, uh, for people with pre-existing conditions. This idea it is a offensive to, to a huge number of individuals. I think it's morally reprehensible. We have to make sure, this is actually some of the strongest things we can talk about about healthcare reform moving forward. The Affordable Care Act ends pre-existing condition discrimination for everybody. Uh, it's actually children right now. Anybody under 18 is protected today uh, and anybody who's over 18 will be protected by 2014. So it's a little bit down the line. Uh, I actually have a pre-existing condition myself. I'm sure many people watching this video. And I want to make sure that you understand, this is a huge positive for us. We cannot stop mentioning this enough because there is no other suggestion by conservatives and conservative ideas of healthcare reform on how to address this. In fact, it's so popular that even during the big repeal and replace push, uh, by the House of Representatives, they continuously said, we need to make sure people have ways to get coverage because of pre-existing conditions. They know this is powerful, they can't help them talk about it themselves. But here's the thing, they have no idea on how to take care of it themselves. They have no other suggestions how to make sure people with pre-existing healthcare conditions can get covered. Pre-existing conditions are things like uh, diabetes, cancer, pretty much our asthma, pretty much almost anything you can think of. It, it's a healthcare condition that can uh, cause you to have a hard time getting covered. Uh, so this is definitely something we can't help but mention enough. Make sure people understand that they are protected now because of this law, and if this law was repealed, those protections, including pre-existing conditions, uh, discrimination, protection for kids and young and for adults, would be gone if this law was repealed. So we want to make sure that people understand this. This is a huge benefit. It doesn't matter what organizations are out there, whether they're promoting uh, the benefit of cancer, uh, Alzheimer's, mental health, etc. They're very excited about this provision to make sure people with pre-existing conditions cannot be discriminated against uh, by insurance companies anymore. We cannot stop mentioning pre-existing conditions enough. It, it's a huge protection. It would be gone if this law was repealed. Uh, there is no other suggestion on how to deal with this by the conservative uh, political establishment that wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act. And that this is a real benefit for individuals uh, who have pre-existing conditions, who have family members who have pre-existing conditions. In fact, one out of three people in America have a pre-existing condition. One in seven patients actually gets denied because of the pre-existing conditions. We can't stop mentioning this enough. This is a concrete benefit that people find incredibly important, will be protected by the law, and would, not, would be in limbo if this law was blocked or repealed. So we want to make sure, do not stop mentioning that this law helps people with pre-existing healthcare conditions. All right, keep mentioning that. Especially if people attack this law, uh, remind them that people cannot be denied because of it. Small businesses and small group plans cannot be charged more with their staff have pre-existing conditions. Uh, that children cannot be denied or charged more based on what condition in many cases they were born with. And that being a, a woman is no longer cause to be uh, charged more. Uh, it's still kind of pre-existing, but it's no longer a condition that'll make sure that you can't get health insurance, uh, or be charged more, excuse me. So be sure to check out our website, sign the petition, check out the, the map that shows how many people in Wisconsin have it, and remember, don't stop mentioning pre-existing condition discrimination between now and November and beyond. So again, this is Kevin Kane at Citizen Action. Uh, please share this video, comment on it below so we know what else we should mention. Uh, but find ways in your own life to bring this up, to make sure people understand how to talk about this. Uh, but thank you guys very much, and we'll send you more videos as we move forward.